we'll see one of the interesting PLSQL requirement that is OTP generation and OTP validation. We all know that OTP is mandatory to do any transaction. Like if you want to do any online transaction, OTP number should be entered. If you want to validate any device or any account, OTP should be entered and it should be validated. So by using PLSQL, we can able to achieve this requirement. To solve this requirement, you should have better understanding of the following concept, count and aggregate function, dbms underscore random, it is a Oracle predefined package, and conditional statement, if and end if, and the sysstate is the pseudo column. Let us discuss one by one so that it would be easy to understand the requirement. First one is the count. This is the OTP details table. It has three records. If you want to find the number of records, we'll make use of count function. So right now there are three records, the output will be three. I'm putting one more condition. So output would be two records, one more condition, like I'm putting the mobile number and OTP. So only one record matches. So output would be one. Next one is the sysstate. Sysstate will give current date and timestamp as well. So current time is like 14 May 2021, 05, 29, 59. We know that in a day has 24 hours. If you want to add one more hour to the existing timestamp, we need to divide one by 24. So five becomes six. We know that in a day has 24 hours, in one hour has 60 minutes. If you want to add one minute to the existing timestamp, we need to divide one by 24 into 60. So 529 will become as 53059. So one minute is added. This concept we'll use in the OTP generation and OTP validation. Next to the DBMS underscore random. This is the Oracle predefined package. It is used to generate one random value from a given range of values. The syntax would be like uh, values one of the function in DBMS random package. So it has two arguments, starting range and ending range. We are giving one as starting range and 100 as ending range. A value will be generated between these two, range, these two ranges. So 99 point decimal values. If you want to remove the decimal values, we'll make use of trunk function. So 10, like it will generate one random value and we are removing the decimal values by using trunk. So we know that one, OTP is the one time password. It is a six digit number. It is like a range, like uh, we need to give, it, give the range in the 1 lakh to 9,99,999. In this two range, in this two, in this range, a value should be generated. So every time we'll execute this query, a random value will be generated. So procedure, you should know the syntax of the procedure to solve this requirement. Create or replace processor, processor name. You are giving sample processor as DBMS output is used to see the result in the console. This is a sample hello world program. So if you want to execute this processor, we'll make use of anonymous block, begin and end. In that, we need to give the processor name. So output will become hello world. Next one, if and end if. This is the conditional statement. To do any conditional check, we'll make use of this if and end if. So if 100 greater than 50, then we need to print 100 is greater than 50. Else, 50 is greater than 100. We know that 100 is greater than 50. The output would be 100 is greater than 50. If you want to execute this processor, we'll make use of anonymous block. So 100 is greater than 50. Now we'll see the actual requirement. First requirement is that OTP generation. It can be achieved by using DBMS underscore random value. Before going to the requirement, we should have the uh, table structure. This is the OTP details. It has four columns, mobile number, OTP, OTP generated time, and OTP expired time. So we are putting like, uh, we are considering one minute as the expired time. For OTP generated time, we'll make use of sysstate. And OTP expired time, we'll make use of sysstate plus one by 24 into 60. So one minute will be added. If you see the records, for the first record, January 21, 10, 0, 1, 0, 1. So we are adding one more minute, like 10, 0, 2, 0, 2. Second record, 11, 41, 
zero one and eleven forty two zero one. So the OTP should be entered within one minute. Then only it would be valid. So we'll create one processor. Create or replace processor processor name. Here OTP generation is the processor name. It has one input parameter and one output parameter. Input parameter is the uh, phone number provided by the user. Output is the OTP number we need to send to the user. DBMS random dot value. So the result should be stored in POTP. We are inserting these records in, in the OTP details table, mobile number. These are the columns. P underscore phone is the phone number provided by the user and P underscore OTP is the OTP generated by us. And the state is the OTP generated time. C state plus one by 24 into 60, like we are adding one more minute to the OTP expired time. So if you want to do the transaction permanently, like we'll make us a commit. So we'll execute this anonymous block. So we're passing one parameter that is the phone number and output OTP will be stored in the uh, OTP. So when you execute this block, a random number like OTP generated, triple one, triple two. This is the exact, uh, this is the two records are there. After executing the anonymous block, a one more entry is entered here. OTP number is triple one, triple two, 14 May 21, 9, 11, 0, 1, 9, First step is completed, that is OTP is generated and we have sent, assume that we have sent that OTP to the user. Second step is the OTP validation. So we need to write one more processor, that is OTP validation. It has two input parameters, that P phone, that is the phone number provided by the user and the OTP entered by the user. And the output should be like, uh, we need to send to the user, that is OTP is valid or not. From the OTP details, we need to fetch the records like the mobile number should be matched with the phone number provided by the user and the OTP should be matched by the provided by the user. And this condition is main, like uh, we need to check like the state between OTP generated and OTP expired time. Like if the user entered this time, if the, if, uh, if the, if it is, if the condition is valid, then a record will be there. We'll see one more time. We're fetching the details from the OTP details where mobile number equal to P phone, the parameter and the P OTP is the user entered OTP. And here we are checking the condition like the state between OTP generated time and OTP expired time. The, the state in the sense like the user entered the value is the state. And the result will be stored in L count. So if L count equal to one, that, that means that OTP is applied successfully. Else, OTP is invalid or expired. That means the user entered a wrong OTP or he entered OTP after one minute. So when you want to test this uh, processor, we'll make use of anonymous block. So we have generated our OTP at 11.01 and we have sent that OTP to the user. The OTP, the phone number provided by the user is 9123457 and the OTP is correct. And the OTP entered by the user at 9.11.41. So the, it is in the range. So OTP applied successfully, like within the range, like 9.11 to 9.12. Like he has entered around 9.11.41. So it is a valid OTP applied successfully. Suppose he has entered the OTP around 9.12.02 because the range is 9.12.01. The OTP has expired. Output should become like OTP is invalid or expired. If the user entered within the time frame, we'll, get, uh, we'll display that OTP is valid. Coding standard, we need to follow some coding standards while doing real-time requirements. 
in real time projects we need to have this type of coding standard so that it would be easy to read or like code can be easily understood for parameters it should be p underscore otp or p underscore message for local variables it should be l underscore count functional processor package name should be self explained that means by seeing the package or function we should be understand that uh, this fun this is related to that function like otp generation in the sense like it is used to generate otp otp validation in the sense like a otp like uh, it it is used to validate otp try to solve this type of requirements so that it would be, it will improve your coding skills and logical thinking and also you'll get the confidence to solve any type of requirement if you like the content subscribe and share the channel thank you for watching